readers, I'm Mrs. E.K. Today we are going to practice a new reading strategy. Yeah, you know, when you get to a word and you get stuck, what can you do? You need to have some tools in your toolkit, something to pull out and figure out what you can do. When we start reading longer words with more than one syllable, it's important for us to look for patterns in words. The patterns will help us know how to read these words. Knowing about syllables will help us find these patterns. Today, we're going to practice something that is called dividing syllables. We're also going to be practicing closed syllables. A closed syllable is when a consonant comes right after a vowel in a syllable. So let's remind ourselves of what a vowel and a consonant are. Vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Consonants are all the other letters in the alphabet that aren't vowels. So if a letter is not a vowel, then it's a consonant. Now let's take a look at a strategy we can use to break up a word into syllables or parts. It's really important for us to remember that every syllable is only going to have one vowel sound. That vowel sound can be made by one vowel or a vowel team. When we see these vowels, we're going to go ahead and put a dot under every vowel, A, E, I, O, U, or Y. If we notice that there are two vowels right next to each other, we have to decide, are those two vowels working together as a team and only making one sound? If they're only making one sound and they are a team, then we're going to underline them to know that it's still only making one vowel sound. Once we do all this, we're going to split the word up. So we can split a word in between a consonant and a vowel or between two consonants or between two vowels. But remember, if you split a word and the word doesn't make any sense, you can try again and split it a different way. So we're going to practice that when we get to a syllable and there's a consonant after the vowel, it's going to be called a closed syllable. I'm going to show you the closed door to show that that syllable is closed. Usually what happens is the vowel, when it's by itself and there's a closed syllable, the vowel says it's short sound. We're going to practice. Let's look at some of these simpler words. So I have a word here. I notice that it has one vowel, so I'm going to put a dot under it. I notice that there is a consonant after the vowel, making this syllable a closed syllable. That makes the I sound say it's short sound. What's the short I sound? Eh, you're right. So we have the word it. What word? It. Yeah, I knew you knew that word. We're just practicing our strategy. <laughs> Here's another word. I notice one vowel again. That means that this word has one syllable. Mm -hmm. That means all these letters are together in this syllable. I notice that there is one consonant or even three consonants after this vowel, making it again a closed syllable. That A is going to have a short A sound. What's the short A sound? Ah, uh, yeah, let's figure out this word. Plants. Plants. Yeah. I see plants outside all the time. Let's try this last one. Hmm. This last one I'm noticing has two vowels. I noticed something about these two vowels. They are together. Hmm. Let's look at these vowels. A and I. I know A and I can say the long A sound. A, so that means they're working together. So we are going to underline the A and the I, because even though there's two vowels, it's only making one sound. So that one vowel sound means that there's only one syllable in this word. Mm -hmm. I also noticed that there is a consonant after the vowel sound making it a closed syllable. But you know what? The A and the I aren't going to say short sounds because the A and the I 
are already working together to make their own sound. It's A. So we have the word pl a n. What word? Plane. Yeah, a plane is like a landform. Really good for farming animals and growing crops. Mm hmm All right, well, get your paper and your writing utensil ready because we're going to practice some words together. All right, scholars, let's write our first word. L O S T. Once you have your word written, go ahead and put a dot under each vowel. Remember, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Did you only put one dot? I hope so, because there's only one vowel. And if there's only one vowel, there's only one vowel sound, which means there's only one syllable in this word. Mm-hmm. So let's look at the vowel. Is there a consonant after the syllable? Yes, that means that the door is closed. That's a closed syllable. That O is going to say the short O sound. What is the short O sound? Ah, uh, so we got l a s t. What word? Lost. All right, let's do our next word. P O N D. Remember to put a dot under the vowels. I again only see one vowel, just like the other word. Just one O. I also notice that since there's only one vowel, there's only one syllable. And there are consonants that are behind that vowel, which make this a closed syllable. Mm -hmm. So that O says it's short sound again. What was that sound again? Ah, uh, good. So we have p a n d. What word? Pond. Yes. Oh, I think little turtle might have got lost at the pond. Hmm. All right, next word, scholars. Z I G Z A G. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and put a dot under each vowel. Remember, you're looking for A, E, I, O, U, or Y. You found more than one this time? <laughs> the I and the A. Nice. I noticed that these two vowels are separated, meaning that they're both going to have their own vowel sound. If there are two vowel sounds, there are two syllables. So we have two consonants in between these two vowels. We need to figure out where they go. I remember one of our rules is that we can divide in between the two consonants. So let's do that. Let's draw a line in between the G and the Z. Do you also see that there's a consonant after the vowel, Boop, making that closed. Consonant after the vowel, making that closed. So both of these vowels will say their short sound. What is the short I sound? Eh, and what is the short A sound? Eh. <laughs> All right, well, let's go over this word. We got zig, zag, zig, zag. What word? Zigzag, yeah, you might zigzag. Just going back and forth. All right, one more word, scholars. We have R, A, B, B, I, T. Remember to put your dots under the vowels. I see two again also. And I also see that those two are not together. So there are two vowel sounds, meaning there are two syllables. I also notice that there are double consonants here in this word. I'm going to split the word between the double consonants. Let's draw a line between the double Bs. 
Do you see it as well? There's a consonant after the vowel, making it closed. Consonant after the vowel, making it closed. So the A and the I are both going to say their short sound. A eh and I. Let's figure out this word. R ab b it. What word? Rabbit. Nice work. Oh, we could almost make a sentence out of these words. The rabbit got lost at the pond and was traveling in a zigzag pattern. <laughs> Maybe you can make your own sentence. Scholars, I hope you had fun playing with words today as much as I did. Paying attention to syllables or word parts can help you read and spell words. How many syllables are in your name? Are any of them closed syllables? Can you find out who in your house has the most syllables in their name? This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education, the State of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by and by viewers like you. Thank you.